Mike T's back at you with another video. Did y'all like that B-roll? Um, today we're gonna be talking about sublimating with cotton subs. The GQ TechBot Customs Design Way. Um, a lot of people still don't understand how it works and are confused by it. I'm gonna break it down just a little bit more for those that really don't get it. All that and more. So in the B-roll, you just seen um, this tripod that I had got from uh, Walmart. And I really don't like it, so I'm not going to say the name on it again. You can go back to the last video and check that out. And I also got this from Walmart, which is like a trigger handheld cam. So I, I guess it's like a selfie stick or something. I don't know. And then also, I'm going to be using the roll of uh, A-sub sheet paper. And basically, this is what prints the image out. Y'all remember from the last video, that lasts a long time. You wanna have a good pair of scissors, and you wanna use a guillotine blade if you don't have good scissors. So what you see me do right now is uh, lay the cotton sub over the actual image. And what I did previously is I used this crafter's bond and sprayed the image. Um, this is how I do my... Uh, cotton subs. Now, GQ and TechBot Customs, they kind of did it a different way, but this is how I put mine. So when they don't actually touch the picture, like I believe your list is you something to actually get the cotton sub. Get a shot of this. Um, flat. I use my hands. I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, messing it up, but I just want to make sure that it's smooth. So when I use my guillotine, I get a good, clean, even cut. And pretty much that's how I make sure that there's no white and the actual cotton sub picture after I cut it down. So what I'm explaining is something that was already explained in a previous video by Tech by Customs. GQ Designs had actually did an accident. He sprayed over the sublimation paper with the picture, and then he put the cotton sub on top, and then he subbed. So I basically ran through that whole video in those few little lines. Y'all go check that video out. So whenever you're using uh, TechBot cotton subs or the GQ design way, you're cutting out um, the cotton sub and the actual sublimation sheet itself. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using the swing line guillotine from uh, Walmart. I believe I got it for like $20, $30, something cheap. So um, after you get the cotton sub adhered to the actual transfer paper and the picture is printed, you just tape it down. And this is the GQ method or the GQ box design way. It's really not that hard. Don't make it harder than it has to be. And don't overthink it. If you have to do a lot of thinking, then walk away from it and then come back. Sneak paper, tip. Parchment paper to cover the actual transfer that you just did. And I always do this as a method to make sure that my cotton sub is completely flat. I don't want it to be folded in the middle or to accidentally sub, fold it or half or mess up. Um, make sure your uh, pressure is kind of light, light to medium. It doesn't have to be all that firm. Um, for the sake that I do mine at 381 and 45 seconds, people always ask me how do my colors pop. I found that that's the best setting that works for me. Each heat press is different. Your heat so press each heat press is different. Depending upon your heat press, you may be able to go up to 400 degrees and press for 60 seconds. The press that I have, I'm only able to go up to 380 degrees or 381 degrees and press for 30 seconds or 45 seconds, just depending on what I'm pressing on. Now, we'll get into this more as we go through these episodes on how I've got my temperature and Possibly how we could calibrate the machine. Squad, Jay Styles from All Things Styles. Say how you feel, because he going to say how he feel. You dig, you dig? And my homeboy Seek from 12 Gone Apparel. Can't help but say it like that because of that intro. What's up to the inner squad? 
What's up to the Outer Squad and all my new subscribers? How y'all doing today? If you're feeling good and you're learning something valuable from this video, please drop a comment down below. Right now, I'm heating up my uh, heat press to 320 degrees to press this vinyl for 15 seconds. So, yeah. I'll get back with you when it's pressed. Make sure your pressure is adjusted correctly. And I'm using this little makeshift thing. I keep shouting out um, Big Brando. But if I keep getting comments on why am I using this, I do not want to tear up the upper platen, y'all. And I just haven't had the time to order the uh, upper platen either. I could have, but I, I don't want to. And that peel right on off. And that's the front of the shirt. And for the back of the shirt, I can't really show it because... After all, this is a RIP shirt, and I don't like to put their business on social medias. So for that, that's why I cut the last video I did in last season a little bit short, out of respects. People don't like to see their loved ones on the screen without their permission or their con consent, because ultimately you could be get sued. That's another sneak tip for you guys. So hopefully you liked that video or that tutorial over GQ box method. Um, subscribe to the group, the squad. We're on Facebook. And if you got time, peruse through my videos. I've got plenty of videos showing how I made mistakes and how I fixed them. And also, go like and subscribe to the squad, the inner core. We out uplifting, we're preaching, we're teaching, we're helping each other to be great. At the end of the day, no one wants to be left behind. And the underdog wants to come up top. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to pull everybody up. And, you know, a lot of folks don't like that. A lot of folks think that as competition. Whereas I see it's helping a fellow friend or brother out, depending upon how your situation is or your circumstances. So, until the next one, y'all, I'm out. <laughs>